Hello there costume nerds, I am Richie Stormtrooper, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my little space on the internet dedicated to all things Stormtrooper armor, Stormtrooper costumes. I'm putting together a series of videos, hopefully, that will serve as tutorials to help you build your own Stormtrooper armor. In this video, basically, we're doing an unboxing. It's the day has finally arrived. My new um, armor kit has arrived from RS Prop Masters in the UK. I'll be going through all the individual pieces that are included in the kit as a kind of overview so that you can see exactly what the kit contains and what each piece is for. Before we do get started, if you find the video interesting and useful, please do like and subscribe to the channel. You can check out the videos I've already posted on Stormtrooper Armors. There's the tutorials I've already posted. Here's a link to the playlist. What I intend to do with this is obviously I've um, just received a new armor kit. I'm going to be building it and I'm going to be filming the whole process. This is going to be my little workspace for the next few weeks. I'm going to update you on that film important parts of the build, hopefully convert those into some kind of tutorial. And we're starting here with an overview then of all the pieces. I have ordered myself an ABS full armor kit to make myself. And I've also added the option of a strapping kit. So we'll start with the helmet then. Um, first thing we've got here are two rubber seals. Some material that will look rather confusing at first. We'll let, put that at the side. A star of foam. Mic tips. These things will now probably look a bit more familiar. We'll get it all out first and then we'll uh, have a look what goes where. What's for, designed for what. These are two ears. And that leaves then the two main parts of the helmet. The beautiful faceplate with all its warts and bumps, a direct cast from the original helmet, which is in superb condition. The RS Prop Masters helmet, and this is a fantastic cast. And the back part, the dome. That's all the parts of the helmet then. Now, the obvious part, that's going to go to, it still needs some trimming. That's going to fit together roughly like so. Already looks like a stormtrooper. And I notice with great joy that the guys at RS Prop Masters are now marking the cut lines in pencil. So if you follow these cut lines, you will have ears that fit perfectly. This is an accurate foam star. The uh, strapping system for the uh, helmets was very basic. There was a chin strap and just this inside the helmet like so. Later on that will just sit here in the dome and that's your helmet padding. 100% accurate, 100% functional, no need for any elaborate schemes. Here we have a bag with all the screws, the bolts and rivets that you need to assemble it. Obviously when we come to assembling the helmet we'll look at that in more detail and the trim. These go on when the helmet's assembled. And of course we also have the mic tips. These will be cast direct from the original mic tips on the RS Props helmet. We'll look at some of the detail there. And finally this which is a lens or piece of screen. This is like a a gel filter. This is um, originally cinema equipment. This was used for a len as lens filter, and this is what they use. This is exactly this flimsy. This is highly accurate. This is what you use. This goes in the eyes as your lens. To the body armor, then. Where to start? Well, where else but the butt, the butt plate. As I said, I have ordered a, a full armor kit, but also the strapping kit. And I seriously advise you do so unless you have got um, a secret source of for the original snaps, the new e-snaps that we use on the originals. 
and uh, a lot of time and patience on your hands, order the strapping kit because it is, um, we'll, we'll show it in a minute, it has hundreds of small items, it takes a long time to put together and also if you order it from RS they do you the courtesy of putting in some of the press studs pre-mounting them in the armour so that saves time and effort and saves you from making mistakes there are various parts of the armour which which have these snaps or press studs whatever you want to call them that's the butt plate obviously the bottom piece of the armour is going to sit here under our kidney back plate those will be flush together like so I really love getting new armour we have quite a lot of trimming to do obviously these parts are equipped with lots of return edge we're going to trim all that down get it just like the originals what else do we have we have the final piece of the back armor the upper back area which will be flush with the kidney needs no real explanation then we are on the front of the armor already as you can see I've already got this full of dog hairs and it's been on the floor uh, getting dirty don't worry about it at all stormtrooper armor was not clean it's meant to be a little bit grubby unless you're going to go for something extremely idealized which is not really the aim of this tutorial we're looking for authentic replica costumes here don't worry about a little bit of dirt and dust another piece where you would be very grateful if you've ordered the strapping kit because it, the press studs, the snaps, they come pre-installed here. We'll get back to that when we're assembling this piece. We also have from the front the beautiful chest piece. Now this is one of the most nicely preserved parts of the original suit which is probably one of the easier parts to cast and it is, has turned out absolutely great. Goes over here of course. This really sets aside um, this armour from earlier replicas and other replicas that are available it's not cast from a Return of the Jedi suit so it's not got that thin extreme cuts here under the arms it's still got the original bulky kind of masculine, masculine chest look to it a really nice piece the benefits of something cast from the original episode 4 suit we're already move, moving on to the arms. These are the probably the easiest parts to, to build. They don't need a lot of work, just a lot of trimming. These are the shoulder bells, of course, on the shoulders. Um, good news for bodybuilding types, guys that uh, go to the gym a lot. There's quite a lot of allowance in here with the, probably the more original cut line would be somewhere around here. These are really not that, that thick not that wide but um, if you're broad chested there's quite a lot of leeway in there a lot of extra material in there to to make these a little bit wider so we don't get any gaps in the the armor here we have all the parts of the lower arm assemblies the clamshell construction outer inner will go together like so over the forearms we've got right and left, two different right outer, right inner, right out, uh, left outer, left inner. We'll go through all that when we get to the assembly tutorials, assembling each part, I will show you how to match them all together so that there's no confusion. These parts, the biceps, we've got, these are fantastic parts, well preserved on the original kit also two inner parts, two outer parts, so together you have two complete bicep, bicep assemblies fit together like that. The famous sculptor's thumbprint that ended up in the clay or in the mold. I imagine that was Brian Muir. His thumb gets everywhere. 
And then we're already onto our legs. We have here thigh pieces, one missing. There we go, here's the fourth. Same principle, clamshell type thing. You have a, an inner part. I'm not quite sure if that's left or right at the moment. We're gonna stick it there like that, just for demonstration purposes. I think this actually might be mismatched, but you get the idea. It's gonna to fit together like that. The lower leg, armor parts then, thighs, sorry, um, shins or calves, however you look at it, cover all the lower part of the leg. This can be tricky matching these together because uh, as I've just explained in another video, the parts on the original suit were indeed mis mismatched there. Um, there were parts sculpted especially for the left outer and the left inner and for the right outer and the right inner. And during assembly, um, when the props were assembled, the costumes were assembled on set, there were all kinds of mistakes made that the stormtroopers um, have no end of mismatched parts. You don't necessarily notice on screen, but <clears throat> and this is one good example. The RS Prop Master suit it's had its own quirky uh, feature, which was a strange mix of uh, some correct, some incorrect parts. We'll go into detail about that and how to best match them, but that's the general principle like so. Full tutorial on leg assembly, of course, coming up soon. And that leaves us with a lot of the small parts we have here. The belt, plastic belt assembly. This is a largely decorative piece. It's an um, ammunition belt, supposedly. Um, goes over the knee. It was a cosmetic addition to add a, some misaligned parts. Um, we'll see that when we get to um, assembling the thighs and the calves. They don't um, necessarily align properly or flush at the top and the bottom. So lots of little pieces were added to kind of disguise that, like the, the, armor, um, the sniper plate is connects to one of the calves. We have the four pieces that make up the drop boxes. These will stick together like that in the end and make the drop boxes that attach to the belt and hang down here at the front. All the parts that make up the thermal detonator, the tubing, and uh, this is amazing. The, the customers of RS props are extremely spoiled. The lines are marked on there in pencil where you want to fit this. This needs to be trimmed flat so that that will stick over there. These are the end caps. They will go on the ends there like that. Need to be trimmed, of course. And uh, it's already here pre-assembled, the, the tube itself, with these very accurate clips with the exact same screws that were used. The same length, everything perfectly pre-assembled saves you a hell of a lot of work and research and buying small parts fantastic really really they are spoiling us and as i say another recommendation do um, buy the full kit the strapping kit because it will include these accurate gloves now these are matched very accurately to the originals these hand guards you recognize the shape from the plastic handguards. These are indeed, though, made of latex and glued onto these rubber gloves, these rubber chemical workers gloves. Um, a lot better option. Go for the full strap strapping kit. You will not regret it. It doesn't cost that much more. This is amazing. These are the um, little abdomen parts for the uh, abdomen plate that were featured on the Stormtroopers, but not on the Sand Troopers. And this is amazing. It's been a while since I bought my last kit from RS Prop Masters and <laughs> this is new. It comes pre-painted in the right colors. For me, another absolute Ferrero Rocher uh, moment. Mr. RS Props with these painted abdomen plates, you are really spoiling us. We also have our shoulder straps that fit like, like that. Oh, they join the chest to the back and give the impression of joining them and supporting the load. They are largely uh, cosmetic, largely for appearance uh, only. Um, they need a little bit of trimming, a little bit of sanding. 
Um, the strapping inside is what actually carries the weight. It's a load bearing elastic. Nearly done. Um, here is some detail which needs to be added to the belt. We'll come to that later. These little raised circles are cut out in squares and attached to the belt. Again, another inclusion in the full strapping kit is an accurate canvas material belt. Um, the press studs are already pre-installed. These will clip directly onto the front of the abdomen. And last but not least, it is indeed the strapping kit itself. As you can appreciate just by looking at the bag, it is hundreds of little parts accurately re replicated, brackets for mounting, screws, washers, bolts, nuts, various lengths of elastic. This, as I said, I can't recommend it enough, can't repeat it often enough. Get yourself this if you're going to order the kit. Save yourself the time of all the research and um, sourcing of this material. You'll never be able to put it together for, for the money and the, the, the cost. It really is um, great. I'll probably do a full video just on the strapping system because um, it deserves its own overview. It's quite a complicated subject. These are all numbered, which probably, probably helps. The bags are numbered, so each time I assemble one specific part of the armour, I will make reference to the RS props numbers on the bags, which will maybe help, and we'll certainly step by step, I'll show you exactly what belongs to which parts. And that was it. That is what you get with your full RS Prop Masters kit. I'm really looking forward to getting building this. As I say, I'm going to be filming every step. I'm going to be um, turning this into a step-by-step -step tutorial. If you found this interesting and useful, please do like and subscribe. You're going to find the stuff I've already posted probably interesting if you're just starting out and uh, once we put this full build tutorial together i want this um, youtube channel to be your source for uh, references and guides to building your own stormtrooper armor so i'd really love to have you on board give me a, a like and subscribe to the channel i will be back soon um, hopefully posting at least one video per week two if i manage it depending on time and progress so regular updates regular tutorials and we'll see you in another video. Take care.